This is going to be a good one. Mm -hmm. I think if you can get ahead of the mistakes or at least be aware of what they are Mm -hmm. or know that the mistakes that you're making are could potentially be quite normal. Mm -hmm. You'll be in there. Mistakes are quite normal. Mistakes are quite normal. Um, I think perfection is impossible. I don't even know why we use the word right Mm -hmm. outside of speaking of our creator. Like, why does the word even apply to humans? Mm. What could potentially be perfect? Because perfection is always relative. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. And, and I'm, obviously you strive for it to get it right. And for all the entrepreneurs that are launching something, but they can't launch it until, uh, that TV is going off, Reese. Um, they can't launch the thing that they're trying to launch until everything is perfect. perfect. And, you know, that's interesting. That was going to be... Uh, what I started with. Oh, let's do so it. Let's just jump into it. Let's come. Back, let's jump into our it. Weeks was, let's go let's into it, man. Let's give it to the people. Because it ain't about our week. It's about their week. It's about their and week. their journey. All right. All right. Give so, me the first one. Very first one. Uh, very first mistake that I've made as a business owner uh, was waiting until I felt like everything was perfect before I got started, and that has happened over and over in different stages of my business. So in the very beginning waiting till I felt like everything was perfect before I quit my job and became full-time. Waiting until everything was perfect to put my marketing out there. Waiting until everything was perfect to drop this offer because, you know, I don't know. Waiting until everything was perfect to do what I do now because I didn't think that I knew enough. There will never be a time where all of the pieces of the puzzle are on the table at the same time. When you're working on a big idea, yep. anyway, when we're yep. working on small ideas, the pieces can be there. Oh, and, for sure. and you can perfect those. But there will never be a time when you're working on a grand idea that perfection will be a part of your equation. Mm. So we got to throw perfection out the window. But there has to be the balance of getting it right. Yeah, you no? got to get it. That's the thing. So I don't look for perfection necessarily. I decide what the end result looks like. Mm -hmm. And then I try to just do a little more. So I'm an overachiever. Mm -hmm. I want to deliver and and be good. If I'm coaching you and you tell me that um, you need help getting organized, right? Mm -hmm. As an entrepreneur, um, I can't just help you get organized. Like we're going to do even more. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, Perfection is out of the window, but excellence is the difference. So I don't operate. Mm, not perfection. Not perfection, but excellence. excellence. Yeah. So I, like I think the counter to that mistake, it's important that we give that. The mistake is believing that everything has to be perfect. perfect. But the counter to that is to not strive for operating in perfection, but strive for operating in excellence. Mm, I like it. I like it. 